I'm with Computer Side Electronics and today I'm going to be showing you how to install an app that will work with your Wi-Fi enabled double den aftermarket radio. Now this radio comes with um, an app that is kind of okay but it's not really all that good. In my case I ended up deleting the app so I don't know how to get that particular app back onto the Android radio. Therefore, I had to research and find an app that was compatible with the radio that will work with the GPS antenna that is installed and that comes with the radio. Other apps in the Play Store does not work with this radio simply because they work off a cellular signal or Wi-Fi signal. So a lot of the GPS apps that's in the Play Store will not be compatible with your aftermarket double den radio. So. Let me show you the app to use. Okay, here we have the Double Den radio here. As you can see, um, I have everything pretty much set up. The Play Store is here. So we're gonna go into the Play Store and this thing should be hooked up to my Wi-Fi so I can download the app. It will have to be connected to an internet connection, a Wi-Fi connection to um, download the app from the Play Store. This is the app right here, it's called Sigic, S-Y-G-I-C, and it is a GPS navigation um, app that will work with the existing uh, antenna that comes with your radio. This is pretty much the best app that I can find that will work. I already have it installed on my radio, so we will open it, and uh, once you download you can open it and get an idea on how it works. All right, as you can see, it's picking up the area that I'm in and uh, it keeps track of your direction that you are traveling as well as your speed and everything like that. So let me start moving and driving. Let's see how this thing works. All right, this app, like I said, um, it kind of gives you your miles per hour that you're traveling when it comes to certain speed. It also is working directly off of the GPS antenna that is installed that comes with the radio. Therefore, you do not need Wi-Fi or a cellular connection for this GPS app to work. So let's just drive a little bit, travel a little way to to see how accurate it is. All right. Now this thing is saying that I'm traveling at a rate of speed of 23, 27, 28, and it's up to 32 miles an hour. And it is pretty close in the proximity of what I'm actually traveling, if you look at my speedometer, try to keep it right here at 40. Look over here, what does it say? 40 between, fluctuate between 40 and 39. Okay. So, and it is pretty much keeping up with the roads. It's, it's synced pretty well. GPS antenna. So now I'm going to um, put in a destination address to see how well it communicates and um, inform me, see how it sounds when it's talking to me and everything. Okay, I have Ten punched left. in an address and it communicates pretty well. It's pretty much on time with all the turns to give you good advance notice when to turn. Um, it says things like take the second left when you're a turn before the actual turn that you need to be. So that's a good thing. And it communicates very well. It has a very nice voice to go so very clear. You can kind of understand it very well. The graphics not all that great um, as far as being um, detailed, but it's a map. This is the way it's supposed to be. I, you know, it's don't really need much detail when you're trying to get from point A to point B. So, 
let's see how well it communicates when I get ready to make another turn. Here's another great feature that I like about this particular app. It tells you the speed limit that you should be traveling on the road that you're on. Right now it's saying that the speed limit is 45 miles an hour. After a quarter of a mile, turn left. Okay. Turn left. Turning left. After a quarter of a mile, turn right. And then now we'll be turning right. So it gives you good, far in advance notice on when it is that you need to turn so that you don't miss your turn. That's another good key feature that I like about this app. And I guess the GPS signal and antenna will turn have right. something to do with that as well. That would be something that would be beneficial to communicate kind of quickly. I am now turning right like it told me to do. Another nice thing I noticed about this particular app, it gives you um, kind of a 3D view of the gas stations that you're approaching as, or that's in the area, as you can see. And get them gas stations to show up again. to show up again and see if that um, shows it for me. Okay, here we can see that it's showing that there's a Chevron somewhere up the street here. So let's see how accurate After two-thirds of a mile, go straight on. To show us where this Chevron will show up. Oh, there's a shell that just popped up too. After a quarter of a mile, go straight on. Okay, there's a shell symbol. It's showing that I should be coming up on the Shell gas station Go straight to, my, on. to my left. And, well, let's see. After half a mile, go straight well, on. There was a Shell there. They changed it to something else. So I guess I need to update this database, but at least there was a gas station there. Showing two chevrons should be up ahead. After a quarter of a mile, go straight on. So once I approach the chevron, I will be showing you all where that is. And see how accurate it is to get me to the Go chevron. straight on. Go straight on. Okay, there's the chevron gas station, so it was kind of accurate. did reach the Chevron gas station, so now we're sending a traffic light, and so far it's pretty good. It's pretty, been pretty on point, right on time to the markings where it need to be. The mile, rate of mile of speed per hour has also been pretty good. So, there you have it about this app. I'm not going to continue on with this because you kind of pretty much get the idea that it does work with the GPS antenna. It does not have to have a Wi-Fi signal or cellular signal coming from the radio. Um, the only other thing that I would need to pretty much show you all about this particular app is that you would need to download your um, your state that you're traveling within in order for the GPS 
uh, app to work correctly and show you the, the roles and everything. I guess it's kind of set up that way so that it doesn't take up much memory. You could download each state at a time. So let's see if we can end this thing here. Yeah, we cancel route or route or whatever. I don't know if someone may say it. And then you go right here to the menu and you press manage apps. I mean, manage maps, I mean. Let's see what maps comes up. Okay, now once you get into this part of the uh, maps, for instance, I'm in Georgia, so what I want to do is I want to go to, uh, well first let me see what we got here. up all right i want to go down to this is in the north america selection by the way it didn't give me that option this time to select north america or south america so i guess that's because i've already downloaded my map that i needed but you want to scroll down until you get to us and now we're in the U.S. And for instance, you got all, it's gonna say U.S. and all the different states. You know what, I do need to download Connecticut. So let me select the map for Connecticut because I will be traveling to Connecticut shortly. Oh, that might not be good because it's saying it's removing the old map and installing a new map. So let's see what happens with that. I may have to just download the maps as I need them. That can't be good though, because what if I need both Georgia and Connecticut to travel to Connecticut? Let's see what map I have on here now. to figure that out later but anyway that is how you download your map once your map is downloaded you will know that it's downloaded because you will see a trash can on the right hand side of the column where you can delete the map for instance I just downloaded Connecticut see there's a trash can right over here oh let's stop that but I need to go back and re-download Georgia. Oh, I do have Georgia. So it does hold two maps at a time. I have Georgia and I have Connecticut now. There's trash can by both of them in case I want to delete them. So both maps are installed now. Let's see if it gives me a pinpoint location where I am. Yep, it does. So both maps are now installed. So there you have it. Um, there isn't anything else that I need to pretty much show you about this particular app and this radio because I think I've covered everything but now you have the app name that you need to download where to download it how to download it how to set it up with your maps and how to navigate how to use it for navigation Thank you for viewing my video. I will make other videos about other features of this radio. So look for it or stay tuned to my channel. Thanks.